zirconia material is something that is uh, coming from the past or is something that we have also to have a look for the future? For sure, while we are talking nowadays about zirconia, we have different kind of materials that we have to consider because we have uh, cubic, monolithic, tetragonal, different kind of material with different kind of translucencies. When we talk about more classical zirconia, for some clinicians, it's not considered so aesthetic because the opacity is quite high and is not so translucent and not so uh, natural look looking. But in the, in the same time, at the same moment, we have something that is very high strength. Because if we consider the fragility of uh, um, phosphatic ceramic that is uh, more or less 150 megapascal, without any of cementation with the zirconia, we have the core that could be around 900 or 1,200 megapascal of flexural strength. Well, when we approach uh, uh, restoration with this material, I, I found that a good indication is to use for uh, bridges because the connectors could be uh, smaller and uh, we can have uh, nice performances, both in a classical bridge or in a Maryland or adhesive bridge with adhesive retainers. And also when we have uh, the abutment with a quite high discoloration, we can uh, have this need, this uh, um, opportunity to mask and to cover the background and thanks to a little bit more uh, opaque substrate uh, with the classical zirconia, we can uh, do it. And we can have the need to use this kind of material. Well, what kind of adhesive cementation we have to perform? When we perform uh, 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 this kind of uh, ad full adhesive cementation, usually, as I mentioned in the uh, number 23 of these uh, protocol short videos, I, uh, I want to uh, consider the possible improvement of the strength with the adhesive cementation, but we already mentioned that with the zirconia, we don't have to improve a lot the uh, strength of the complex tooth uh, restoration. And uh, if we have a, a quite uh, well prepared uh, with a classical or anyway more uh, modern approach for a full crown, anyway we already have a good friction and retention. So we don't need to do these uh, uh, full steps of a disease system. We can use, in example, glacier number cement, could be enough. Or, as I prefer, I use for zirconia resin cements, but I want to use the more simplified system. In this case, a self-adhesive system is absolutely mandatory or anyway suggested. In my opinion, if I use uh, something with monomorphous phase that is well demonstrated by the literature that is the best kind of chemical monomer that can uh, have a good stability on this kind of materials, I think that uh, we can uh, combine both the situation. In example, Relax Unisem is something that can have both this kind of aspects, monomer cement and self-adhesive. Then, uh, if I want to condition better uh, the, the abutment, I can use a different kind of uh, adhesive system. But if I, I need to condition much more the surface of zirconia, before the adhesive cement, the self-adhesive cement, I can use some uh, conditioning like silica coating. We can use co-jet and then we can uh, have a coating of uh, silicium oxide and then we condition it with the silane before our cement that could be also a self-adhesive. So remember, with the zirconia, we don't need a very full step of this system. If you want, you can do it. But if you put just a cord and not put a rubber dam, or you can put also the rubber dam if it's possible, you can simplify your steps with the zirconia. If you uh, found enough interesting this uh, video, you can share with your friends. And uh, see you at the next time at the next video. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.